said to you before that one of my hobbies, or one of my joys, as, as much as going to see a comedian, is to watch some of the drug commercials on TV and to hear their disclaimers. You remember the one about the, if you have twitching in your leg, you can take this new drug and, of course, it may cause suicidal tendencies or, or uh, the carrying out of those suicidal tendencies, but your, your leg won't twitch anymore. It really, I mean, watch this stuff. Watch all of life with a, with a smile inside of yourself, and uh, you'll be seeing unbelievable things. I pray that your faith is in God's healing power. Hearing and seeing the advertisements for the remedies of the physical ills can focus our attention, and it's supposed to focus our attention, on being sick rather than being well. On elevating, you know, I, I was with a group one time that were watching a series of ads like this, and one person said, I think I have that. Another one says, yes, I think I have that too. And uh, although these remedies may sometimes help, Let's not lose sight of what is important to our own well-being. And that is our faith in God and God's power to heal. Over and over again, Jesus emphasized the importance of faith in the healing process. So when we shift our focus from what is wrong with us, to what is all so very, very right, and that is the healing life of God within, we're shifting our faith from what appears to be true to what we know is true. God has created us for wellness. So the ad that we run and rerun over and over again in our own mind is one of faith in God, the sustainer of all life. And there are no disclaimers to this. It works no matter what church you go to. It is the most amazing, reliable healing remedy that has ever been known. In Mark, it says this in verse 534. Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. I pray today that you are prescribed a huge dose of God's healing power.